I don't know Wisconsin at all. Let's pick on Green Bay. What's the median home price in Green Bay, roughly? Uh, I would say just just shy of two hundred thousand. So, are you primarily exiting below two hundred thousand, or are you getting gung ho and flipping four hundred k houses? Nope, absolutely. Not. I'm I'm a Michael. I'm a base hit guy. I'm a base hit. I'm a volume base hit guy. I all my properties valued around one hundred and forty to one hundred and eighty thousand. We buy them just under a hundred. We put about twenty to thirty grand into them, so all in. Plus, um, we still we're still using some private lenders, so we have interest on it. All in, we're always right around a hundred to one hundred and ten. We're exiting around one forty, one sixty, somewhere in there. Um, yeah, twenty thirty thousand dollar nets. We're we're okay with it. We were able yeah. to scale it, and it works. Uh, I I think you were. I mean, I don't know if you've watched the channel a bunch, but uh, that's what I keep telling folks. I I interview multiple people on the channel. Uh, who now are flipping below the median for their market. One of the guys, Jason Pritchard, his market's median is 400K. Uh, he was on the channel in, in January and, and talked about some six-figure losses because the market changed and it got got. Uh, he just had a 300K month uh, because he's only doing below the median, right? There's, That's awesome. There's, there's a dearth of inventory, FHA buyers, VA buyers. Builders aren't building there. If you have the process to find below market value, you find dumps, you have a reputation where you can finance them and the teams or the expertise to do the work. There has never been a better time to flip you know, below the median properties, even at 7% interest rate. And oh my goodness, if we get to 6%, watch out. 